We can just kind of snipe here for a minute. I see somebody over there. Come on. Let's get the UAV. Let's see this guy. There he is. Oh, we're cleaning up over here. We're cleaning up right now. Except we're going to have to move because we're getting grenades. All right now, I'm going to drop by. There you Ah, damn it. All right, airstrike. Here we go. Hey guys, what's going on? Alf here with another video. In this video today, we're going to be playing some Call of Duty for one of my favorite games of all time. It really is. Uh, so I talked about this in previous videos. Obviously, Call of Duty 4 Remastered is going to be coming out very soon. Uh, and I'm going to be making plenty of videos of that. So sort of to get ready for it, I want to do some Call of Duty 4 content. Uh, I was thinking about playing campaign, but then I thought, um, and I don't think I've announced this, so I'll announce it now. I'm going to be doing a Call of Duty 4 campaign series. So we'll be doing... Uh, we'll be playing the different missions there. It'll be a commentary series when Remastered comes out. Uh, so we'll just be focusing in on multiplayer. So let's just hop right in. What I want to do is first go into the create a class here and just kind of walk through my different, uh, different kits. I don't want to go through all of them because it'll take forever, but just kind of, you know, your standard, you know, Call of Duty 4 loadouts here. I've got the MP5 with the red dot sight, of course. I think you can use that on a lot of maps in this game. M9, just your, you know, run-of-the-mill uh, Call of Duty 4 sidearm. we got our three frag grenades, which I think is uh, important. Definitely because there's not, like, you know, Semtex and frags and so much different equipment, drones. You know, you don't have that in Call of Duty 4. So I think uh, it's kind of important to have uh, more frags to make up for that. Stopping power, I'm, you know, I could kind of go either way on this perk. I know they removed it in some of the later games. And the reason for that kind of makes sense. You can't really use any of the other perk two perks because if everybody else has stopping power, you're kind of at a disadvantage if you don't have it. So I've got that one here. Deep impact is basically uh, FMJ. So we've got that here. Uh, sniper kit, I've got the Barrett 50 cal. I've kind of alternated between this and the M40 in this game. I think they're the two best sniper rifles. I've never really seen anybody use this R700. It takes like two rounds. I don't know who uses that. Really like the Dragunov, really any of these guns other than the Barrett or the M40. I mean, they're, they're, they're kind of the two that everybody tends to use. Uh, so for the Barretts, uh, the reason I use that, I think the M40 does a bit more damage and it's also quicker, whereas the Barretts, a, it's kind of a heavier gun, it's slower to aim, and the recoil is, you know, nothing to be over the moon about. But anyways, that's enough about the kits, let's just go ahead and get into the game, you can kind of understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and play Team Deathmatch, just because at this point it's gonna have the most people in it. So we're on Broadcast, now this is a, a, a DLC map, I remember this. this, is one of my favorite maps, it's such a... Such a cool map, it really is. Uh, so let's see. I think we'll go with the AK for this. I think it's kind of. You, know, you got some long range stuff. You got some close quarters stuff. I think it kind of works. Is that chopper stuff? Yeah, it is. All right. I hear a sniper. Come on. See that dust shooting up there? It looked like there were two guys back here, and this chopper's trying to come after me now. I'm gonna get into this house. Alright, so there's a, um, a guy who got shot in here that hasn't despawned, so I'm going to assume that was recent. And I'm going to assume he was sniped from across the way here. I right hear, there he is. Who the hell is that? Is that the chopper? Yeah, it's the chopper. I gotta get out of here. I hear footsteps, and I see a green marker on the map, so I think that's my guy. See, you gotta really get into this, you know? Take out this M21. Man, this chopper is up my ass. It's got like a 40 minute timeout on it. We can just kind of snipe here for a minute. I see somebody over there. Come on. So that's a two hit kill with this gun. Here's another one. That's my guy. It's got the UAV. Let's see this guy. There he is. Oh, we're cleaning up over here. We're cleaning up right now. Except we're going to have to move because we're getting grenades. And they know where we are right now. So we're going to switch. We're going to try to run across here. They're probably going to be back here. I see a bunch of markers on the map. So they're, they're just kind of assaulting that building from the front. So we can kind of sneak around this way. But right now, I'm going to drop by. There we go. Ah, damn it. All right, airstrike. Here we go. Man, I love this game. All right, I'll go in here. It's going to be a little bit safe to call us in. Come on, UAV. Now, UAV timed out. All right, I'm going to call it in right there. There we go. Uh-oh, here he comes. We're flashed down there. 
Come on, get a kill. Get me the chopper. Get me the chopper. No. Airstrike did not do jack. Try to snipe right here real quick. There's a guy. Oh, damn. Well, I was two kills away from the... From the chopper. Well, I think that's pretty good not having played this in years. I'm just kind of hopping into a already started match. Come on. Look at this. Their whole team has that perk to get the extra health. I'm just neglecting to remember what it's called. Here. This guy with the shoddy over here. Is this the same guy or is it... I don't know. It's really ridiculous. 25 seconds left. 25 seconds. UAV. Oh, we're having a good little little short match here, but we're really doing work. Remember how much fun this game is. And they're all over here now. Pick up this M16. Get some kills with that. Here we go. Quick airstrike for the win. Not available because somebody just called theirs in. And that'll take us to the end of the match. All right, since that was a pretty short match, uh, I think I'll play one more. We'll play Creek here. Three votes to skip six needed. Yeah, I'm not crazy about this map, to be honest with you. This is also a DLC map, so I think it's just probably doing... Really just running through the DLC maps. Creek? I mean, Creek was really a sniper map, um, among other things. So I'm just trying to remember, because I'm kind of mixing up Creek with other maps that kind of look like it. Uh, but I, I just remember I was never too crazy about it. I just remember that there's like one house... You know, there's like a... I guess you could call it like a little ravine. It looks like we're going to be playing on this. Uh, this map here. There's like this ravine that you can see here and then straight ahead there's a house and you can go in there and snipe and that's kind of all anybody does is kind of snipe at the other side of the creek which is of course that's what I'm going to do and it's of course it's this house right here on the left with the screwed up roof. So we're going to run right in here go into the old attic that I remember and start popping off. Uh, so one of the things I wanted to talk about was there's I think there's only going to be 10 maps. I'll just put my claymores down to kind of defend my position. I think there's only going to be 10 maps that they're, I heard that they're going to be putting into the remastered game. I'm kind of upset about that. I haven't really looked up, not really looked up, I haven't looked up at all which ones they're going to be. I hope they're, hope they're the good ones. Uh, but I wish we could have got all of them. So this is the spot right here I was talking about. Everybody just snipes here. It's just a straight up sniping bonanza. I've tried not to look up any, you know, details about the remastered game. I just kind of want to get it, play it, you know, see what I think. Well, kind of really having everything spoiled, or be spoiled. So, yeah. So, we got, like, our first couple kills here. It looks like they're all going to be on that other side there. There's a flashbang. Here's a guy right there. There we go. So typically the, the heat areas on this map, it's this like area right across that little rocky ledge there. Enemies tend to run across there, but it's such a big map and I don't think we have a full match, so it's uh it's a bit quiet here, but I think we're gonna hang out here because this is just such a good spot. Come on, there we go. So of course when I shoot with this thing, it's gonna show up on the map pretty big, and I think most people know about this, this spot. So so I'll have to pay attention here. There's a sniper. Damn it, missed. It's got my location. I see ya. Got him. All that UAV in. There we go. So it'd be nice if I could wait for the airstrike to call a UAV in. Um, but it kind of like overrides it. So, you know, you can't do that. And I see somebody coming up on me here. There he is. He's trying to get into this house. Oh, you piece of crap. He cooked that grenade. He cooked that grenade, like, literally to the last second because it didn't even drop. Alright, so there's some... Some heavies up here. There's a guy in a spot I've never seen anybody get before. So they're on the roof of this house. I never even, I've never even seen anybody get up there. I didn't even know you could do that. Let's try to pick them off real quick. Yeah, you see. There's this guy with the Spass 12. Here's the sniper. No. No. Come on. There's his buddy on the roof. Here he is here. Come on. He's trying to get back up in his little glitch there. 
See, you have to really think when you play this game. That's what I like about it. It's not just like the games now where you just call in whatever airstrike it is and it kind of does everything for you. Here he is again. Come on. Stick your head up again. Yeah, I know I know about your glitch now. Come on. There he is. What? Get out of here. That was a kill. Oh, there we go. I just got it, so that must have been... Put them in, like, last stand or something. I mean, we have to come to them. So, like, they have the high ground. They have the good spots to snipe. So we kind of have to come find them. Which is, uh, kind of doing us in. There's a guy. This is a great sniping map. It really is. But the problem with it, though, is, like, that's all it is. Now we're going to get another airstrike. Can I get under this? Under this? I like how this little, uh, like, wood plank tin roof or whatever it is blocks the airstrike. And move again. There we go. Is this guy on the roof? I think he's on the roof. Can't see him, though. Can't really see the forest for the trees. Get it? Because there's... There's trees in the... or whatever. Yeah, now they got a helicopter coming on us. There we go. We got a kill in there. If I can't take the chopper out. Nope. There we go. I finally got that guy. He's been, he's been poking around a bit too long here. Try it again. There we go. I got a hit. See if I can get two. Come on, oh, piece of crap. Well, if you hit it with one RPG, you can just use a gun. Like a few, like one clip will take it down the rest of the way. That's one thing I learned. There's a guy who's going to snipe me. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's a rough way to end the match, but uh, I, I had fun. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you want to see more Call of Duty 4, please leave a comment and let me know so I can be sure to, to get on that. But other than that, until next time, that'll do it for this one. Thanks for watching.